New details about the line of duty death of St. Johns County Sheriff's Sergeant Michael Kunovich, who collapsed after a struggle with a suspect Friday night. 18-year-old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez is now charged with capital homicide and resisting arrest. Investigators say he's homeless and living in the country illegally. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live with the latest on this case. Eric. Well, Joy, some of that new information that came out today finally explains why there was an interaction between Sergeant Konovich and Aguilar Mendez. At a news conference to discuss the recent rash of violence against law enforcement officers in Northeast Florida, St. Johns County Sheriff Robert Hartwick broke his silence about the death of St. Johns County Sergeant Michael Konovich. Sergeant Deputy Michael Kunovich was legally out with a person that was at a permanently closed business in the area of 16 and 95. He checked out with him simply to say, hey, why are you on this property trespassing? That was a simple thing, simple task. As the body camera footage will come out and show you, it was by the book, textbook. According to this arrest report, Kunovich attempted to conduct a pat down of 18 year old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez. And all the suspect had to do was comply. Instead, the suspect chose to try to remove a knife from its left hand pocket of his pants. And the struggle was on with Sergeant Michael Kunovich until the next deputy sheriff showed up 37 seconds later. The report states the struggle involved Aguilar Mendez grabbing Kunovich's taser after it had been deployed against the suspect. But at some point after Aguilar Mendez was placed in handcuffs, Kunovich reportedly collapsed and died. Sergeant Michael Kunovich succumbed basically to some medical issues that actually were induced by the struggle with our subject. Following the news conference, Sheriff Hartwick said Sergeant Kunovich and other deputies had been patrolling the area of Highway 16 and I-95 where they encountered the suspect because the area needed more attention from law enforcement. Uh, prostitution, um, um, uh, people that are committing other crimes that are coming off Interstate 95, um, other legal drug activity in the area. So it's a high crime area of where we have a lot of deputy sheriffs that are responding to calls for service. Now, it's worth pointing out that Aguilar Mendez remains in jail without bond. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.